Hi guys, Obi Dave here. And I am Ash. Together we are Obi Dave and I am Ash. Yeah. I am going to show Ash me and my younger days, an embarrassing viral video that... Um, What's with the haircut? I don't know, my mum did it. That's not you. No, of course Your mum sent me. me pictures of you as a kid, that ain't you. No, but she did cut my hair and give me a bowl cut. One sent me to high school, literally put a bowl on my head and cut round it. That little video of you and your bro, that was so cute. Oh my God. There's lots of videos of us as kids. Like my dad used to hire a video camera to take on holiday. Well, you, you, my dad showed you the ones that he digitised from when I was a kid. Yeah. And it's just me in the corner, like, concentrating really hard from the tongue up. The... the the videos of me as a kid, um, it's usually like we're on the beach, me and my bro doing something stupid, <laughs> like in truck inner tubes going down sand dunes that, nice. you know, my dad had nicked from work. And uh, then it'd be like, a pair of boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the camera go, zzzz, <laughs> like that. And it'd be like a few seconds of a pair of tits and then zzzz, back to the kids. <laughs> See, my, my, my dad became a, like a documentary uh, presenter yeah. and it would be away from the family and there's Kariba. And then he'd start talking about the history of uh, building seen, Kariba. I've seen that video of the dam, yeah. Kariba Dam. Yeah, and he talks about the uh, the statistics and the height yeah, yeah, and, and how many you know, tons, tons of water. Out of those. And, yeah, yeah. And it's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so dry. For Whereas, a dam, it's very dry. I'm... It's, Hey, if you saw it, it, it's the most amazing thing we used to go every year. It's, I've been to the Hoover Dam. Awesome. Lake Mead and all that. Cool. Never been. So I, I, I've been to impressive dams, thank you very much. I've seen some dams. See, most of the videos of me as a kid, me trying to hide from the camera. I don't really like being in front of the camera. I can tell. Well, you put me in this position. You said it was going to be like the odd video. And, and it went it down well, and people really enjoyed you being on the channel, and then it made sense for you to be on all the videos. I, I still have to have myself on mute when I'm reading the comments, though, or pause the video. I can't. I still don't like listening to myself. <laughs> you edit all our videos. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to do a bit of Tosh.0 web redemption. Mm. We touched on Tosh.0 a yeah. little bit. Uh, yeah, there's couple... loads of comments about this... Um, Gingers have souls? Yeah, well, I didn't put it in the watch later, but YouTube just keeps throwing it at me in the uh, suggested feed. Well, it's been in the comments. This particular one, though, gingers have souls. And I'm okay. like, all right, YouTube, we get it. We get it. Oppressing minorities like gingers. Okay. We are, especially ginger hair, blue eyes. It's one of the rarest types on earth. Do you know that everybody with blue eyes all comes from one person? In breed. Probably my dad. Everyone's inbred if you go back No, far I know enough. that. I was trying to be funny. It just wasn't funny. It was just a disgrace. It's, you're insulting me. So you Saying I'm inbred. You are, though. You've told me. What have I told you? About your family history. Not inbreeding. You said that there was some of that going on with there the There was lots, lots of people living in caravans. Got to be careful saying that word. People will get upset. I don't know. I'm foreign. That's what people have called that them to me. So I don't know. Travellers or gypsies. Right. Okay. I don't know. People have said that to me. So I, that's, I assumed, was what they went by. So also, have you seen Snatch? Yeah. That's what they call yeah, them. as an insult when it's all the people that hate them. Well, that's I don't know it's them. an insult. It's like, what was that word I said the other day? And you were like, that's really disrespectful. And, and it apparently was like pedos. The, the, the word nonsense, shorten it. And that's what Ash was calling Jeremy Clarkson. And I was like, I don't think you're using that word right. No, I don't know again. you thought it meant like nonsense, like yeah. he's being a buffoon. Yeah. And I was like, that's not what it means. <laughs> I don't know that these things. That was funny though. It was funny. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's check it out. Touch point O web redemption. Gingers yeah. have souls. Oh, okay. Can you confirm or deny if gingers have souls? Well, my sister's a ginger. So Does she have a soul? Not really. Do I? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it really irritates me that South Park would say that red-haired people don't have <laughs> souls, okay? Because we do. We do have souls, all right? Gingers have souls! <laughs> I go to church. I'm a Christian. You don't know me. You're not God. <sighs> Ginger, I'm proud of it. Didn't catch a word of that. Could you please turn your hair down? 
I'd be mad too if God forgot to color me in and left me out to rust. <laughs> that redheaded stepchild is Michael, and he parlayed a nationwide disgust of his hair into over 32 million hits on YouTube, which translates into roughly $8. <laughs> Much like Down syndrome, red hair is a genetic mutation, and it occurs when a human has unprotected sex with a clown. <laughs> the only good thing about it is you can immediately know who that stray pube on the toilet seat belongs to. <laughs> sure, freckles are cute on a cheetah, but what you've got in your titties are tons of moles. There have only been two hot redheads in history, a 16-year-old Lindsay Lohan and the Little Mermaid. Personally, I think her hair is way grosser than the fact that her bottom half is a trout. <laughs> Why didn't Emma Stone make the cut? Uh, she's not a natural redhead, and I can't stand to see her lisp her way through another movie. Even that idiot Gilligan understood that the red-headed movie star on the island was hideous compared to the brunette, and that's saying something because Marianne was a flat-chested hick. <laughs> While it's no secret inviting a ginger into your home causes your plants to die, no one deserves to be bullied because of their hair color, especially when their skin is too thin to handle a few jokes. That's why I put that flaming hot Cheeto on a red eye and flew him to Hollywood, a place where nobody has a soul, in this week's Web Redemption. Oh my god. Savage monologues. That was they? amazing. Yeah. That was so funny. It was so brilliant. The first thing I thought when he said you have unprotected sex with a clown was carrot top. <laughs> That's what my dad used to call my sister. Have you seen a comedian <laughs> carrot top? No. But that's what my dad used to call my sister was carrot top. Alison Hannigan's a natural redhead. She's pretty hot. Who's that? American Pie. Oh, yeah, she's pretty hot. Yeah. So there you go, Tosh. Fuck you. I found one more. I'll think of some others. Uh... Welcome to the I'm Not a Real Doctor Feel Show. Point oh. Today, we're addressing a topic that infuriates everyone. Angry, soulless ginger freaks. Please help me welcome Michael. Catch up, head. Oh. Calm down, everybody. Just calm down. I have this under control. Now, I know his hair is very disturbing, but this is what I do. My hair's not disturbing. Oh, it's so red. He is one of those frowny gingers, though, that's like... I know. I was going to say, why is his nostrils so narrow? This is why God removed my eyebrows so I didn't look as much of an angry ginger as I am to soften me so that I'd be more acceptable to the wider public. I remember the first time, like, when I saw your dating profile, I thought, like, I was seeing, like, something wrong. I was like, why has he got no eyebrows? And then I thought, it shouldn't be me. Maybe he's got alopecia. Just eyebrow alopecia. But then when you met you, obviously, I didn't even know that you, like, your beard was there because you had your mask on. And I was like, it's just white. And you had your cap on, so I had <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael, how old are you? I'm 20. I have to ask, does the carpet match the pubes? <laughs> Hold that video. It's three years old now. Fine. It was freshman year of high school. I was watching South Park. I saw the ginger episode. And it kind of like ticked me off and I was over it. I posted it on YouTube and overnight it got viral. If you're standing on a hot highway, you try to get off on the cool grass. I have selected <laughs> the top five gingers of all time. I'd like you to take a look at my list. <laughs> Do you agree with up. my list? Yes. No, not really. Who would be your number one? Ron Howard. Rock Howard, number one ginger. No matter how flat you make a pancake, it's still got two sides. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah, they kept calling me ginger, and they pushed me, one of them pushed me right here, and they threw the first punch. Technically, I counted that as a punch. I counted as a punch. You can only push you a ginger so far before that ginger is going to snap. Ginger snap. <laughs> Do you find... Is that like the story when you had ginger nuts Yeah, in that's what I was going to say, literally in sixth form and people are supposed to be a bit more mature it's like no, that's when mandatory most college of the jokes. Oh, come uh, on. and I, I sat there I bought a pack of the biscuits ginger nuts and I sat there with them on my crotch in the common room just sat eating them thought nothing of it whatsoever because they're quite nice they are quite you nice. should try some ginger nuts 
Um, and then people just started going, ah, ginger nuts. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I've messed up big time. Eh, I would have owned it. You grew up tough as a ginger, though. I like ginger nuts. I know you do. Calm down. Yeah, you, you have to grow up tough because, I mean, every, kids are savages and kids will always find something about yeah. other kids to bully. Oh, yeah. But it's easy pickings with gingers. Yeah, I can imagine. And you've got to be thick skinned to it. Not yeah. thin skinned tosh, you fucking. I won't finish that. And the word ginger, offensive. Yeah, I find ginger when people that aren't redheaded use it. Black people can say the N word. Spanish people can, you know, that word. And I feel like it's slanderous. What if I say, that's my ginger? Well, that's fine. Now, I'd like to show everybody <laughs> another popular viral video of a grandmother that likes to yell about stuff that sticks in her craw. I don't care if you say honky, white, black, and the other word that nobody's allowed to use anymore that I grew up with saying. The white people are the ones that are discriminated against. What are the odds out of all the millions of viral videos out there that this man would know that woman? Why don't you tell everyone who she is? It's my memo. Oh! That's his real life Mimo. I was going to say it's the uh, mat office. Mimo, get on out here. Good Lord, Mimo. <laughs> Mimo, thank you for being here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing out here, but I put in my key and put on a bra to come. I wish you wouldn't have put on a bra. <laughs> have you ever breastfed Michael? No, no, I'm his grandmother. I understand that. Can I tell you something about L.A.? Everybody here is good looking. I mean, there's not a dog in the damn bunch. Get out of here. Look at that guy right there. <laughs> if I was younger, it would take a crowbar to get me out of his lap. Is your sex life still active? Hell no. My vibrator burned out. <laughs> but I want to go to dinner with him. He's cute. You know, can all tell that I like to eat. I can skin a rabbit and a deer, and I know how to clean a fish, and... We're not going to starve to death, but nobody's going to be home to feed the dogs. We've got uh, a chow, an Akita. We've got three pit bulls, three lab, and a little... Uh, look, look. <laughs> He's dying. And I hate cats. But anyway, my daughter loves cats. Cats are weird. They've got weird eyes. They've got every damn thing about them is weird. He's Me dying. Me sure are making yeah. a lot of sense. Do you know what the internet is? Barely. Do you get competitive with Michael over views on your video? Oh, no. I'm proud of his views. I love to watch him. I don't like for him to use the F word. Now, I cuss and carry on, but I don't like for him to talk real trashy. Do you think Michael's temper is out of control? Sometimes, but that's because he's redheaded. <laughs> Michael, it's clear to everyone here and myself that you've got to make a change or you're going to end up old, crazy, and alone like your Mima. <laughs> are you ready to make that change? Yeah. Michael, are you ready to make that change? Yes, I'm ready to make that change. That's what I like to hear. We'll be right back. Oh, my God. Tosh is the king a weird of family. insulting people to their face, Without but in a, being in a smiling, joking way, where afterwards you'd be like, what did he say? But she, he just she, does it she blatantly. She got it straight away. Yeah. The, the middle finger proved that she knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> I do think, like obviously I watched this with the office books a few years ago, this video. I do think he's kind of playing a bit. Oh, I'm sure he is. The ginger kid. Oh, you could see, like, he was laughing, and suddenly he went... Yeah. I think even that video, the Gingers Have Souls video that went viral, I think he was, like... Just doing it. He was just... I think he was playing a bit. Fair enough. I think it's probably just himself turned up to 11, but I think he's leaning into it. I don't think he was that upset. Okay. Because that episode of South Park had a good message. Yeah, it was good. Because Cartman turned ginger and then turned everyone... Taught the lesson. Turned all the... United the Gingers against everyone else. Yeah, it's true. That's just Cartman. I love he's a dick. <laughs> All guests of the I'm Not a Real Dr. Phil Show Point o will receive a chandelier, a pair of Levi's 529 crotchless jorts, a vial of the AIDS vaccine. We <laughs> have it, that boxy Mercedes SUV that costs 100 grand and makes you look like a real asshole, and one of Dr. Phil's famous mustache rides. <laughs> 
About <laughs> 10 seconds ago, a redhead promised he's gonna change his life, but a promise ain't worth a tub of crickets if you don't see it through. That's why during the commercial break, I helped him make that promise a reality. Let's see how much progress Michael's been making. Hey, everybody. Ever since Dr. Phil brought me out here and forced me to dye my hair black, life has been great. I don't hate what I see in the mirror anymore, and nobody asked me about my pubes. And I even finally got a beautiful girlfriend. I told you I don't want you dating in that. Shut it, Mimo. <laughs> Keep it moving, you stole a sprightly <laughs> Get out of here. That was beautiful. Good night. Oh, my God. <laughs> to be clear, that was she me was playing Dr. Friend. Phil. We paid top dollar to get the makeup team from Frank Caliendo's old show. Nice. I didn't hear what you said at the end, though. I, just I said she it. wanted a mustache ride. Oh, she did. Yeah, without a doubt. How good was that, though? That was so good. So this is what he does. Is that... so? Because you and obviously all the comments have been talking a lot about the web redemption. Yeah. And how so, I need to react to it. Tosh.0 was his TV show yeah. that was on for like 10 years or whatever on Comedy nice. Central. Um, and that's a segment of it. There was web redemption. There was celebrity profile. Did you just uh, celebrity? Celebrity profile. <laughs> uh, there was others. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while since I watched it. But it's just his monologues. And then web redemption specifically, where he just does the monologue at the beginning and okay. it gets the people on. They're just amazing. Fair enough. They really are. Fun. I enjoyed it. He's 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 sharp. He's quick off the mark. Oh, like, very I like much it. so. I enjoyed yeah. that. It was he's a got, funny guy. He's got a really popular podcast, but he refuses to have comedians and celebrities and stuff on there. So today it was, what was it? His producer's plumber, and he just like the producer of the podcast, his plumber. He just got him on. He okay. had he had a woman who talks to dead animals. Like a... Oh, like a seance? N like a... Yeah, like a seance. Like a, but a not, ghost connector. But not as, like, seancey. I think she just said that she could just communicate with him. Like, not as holding hands and burning sage. I think, like... I can't remember. I listened to it, and I was like... He, he roasted her to her face, but the, the laughing... It was good. I mean, he's the absolute king of it. You can tell that line of being an asshole but not pushing you too far being a professional dick is what it's professional called dick. Being a professional exactly dick that's exactly what he does because they know on some level you're being insulting but you're doing it in such a way that they can't actually catch you out with it they're like yeah did he didn't he I, I've gotten good at like doing that in emails being a professional dick <laughs> oh, it's, it's easy in emails isn't it when you're really fuming oh yes but yeah we're gonna have to do a bit of daniel tosh's stand-up as well okay uh, at some point so let us know your favorite daniel tosh stand-up bits sounds fun as well as what other web redemptions to do in the comment section what's that on your leg have you got a big bump on you where'd you get that there's a vein oh in the light it looked like like a massive bump like he'd like smashed his shin on something unfortunately not why unfortunately not it's like it's like a badge of honour growing up when you've got bruised up shins. Skateboarding. Okay. Like when you when you stop skating for a few months, and your shins are nice. It's, it's sad. <laughs> it's actually you kind of miss it. It's hard to explain, but there's some sort of uh, there is something there. Okay. You feel satisfied when you're like ah. It's like you you deserve it. You've achieved it. Anyway. <laughs> Cheers for your support, everyone. It does mean the world to us. We're about 5,000 away from 50,000 subscribers. That's which epic. is just crackers. That's it's doing, really cool. Doing really well. And we love the fact that you're all watching, commenting, yeah. liking, everything else you do. Absolutely. Doing. So, yeah, I hope you stay with us and we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye.